So John, if you could explain to me, does this mean that the judgments, decisions or outcomes of courts in Australia are non-binding? They are not official in the sense that they, they have no authority? They have no jurisdiction. No jurisdiction. No juris and in fact there's a legal maxim that says uh, a judge without jurisdiction uh, must be disobeyed with impunity. In other words, <laughs> that, that so-called judgment is totally null and void, unlawful, and it's, but they, they won't have it because they are tyrants. And uh, even now, if you try to access the courts, they'll say, oh, you've got to have leave of the courts. Well, leave applies to slaves. It doesn't apply to free men. We have free access to the courts. But they are denying that. In other words, they are controlling our courts. And when you have that, you have tyranny. Uh, my tea research used to say, trial by jury is democracy. And in fact, a, a chap over in England said, oh, yes, add to that, trial by judge is tyranny. It's yes. quite right, because there, there's another legal maxim that says the discretion of judges is the law of tyrants. And, and we are, have these kangaroo courts, star chamber courts, were abolished back in the 17th century. They had a specific act of parliament to abolish the star chambers, which they called uh, an intolerable burden on the people, and an arbitrary power of government. In other words, we have a situation where the people are not governing. We don't have democracy, which means the people govern. We have a situation where we are governed. We are told what we are under them. But it's not, that's not the case in a democracy. And, and when a judge or a lawyer says, oh, statute law overrules common law, you, you reply, say, not in a democracy. Because in a democracy, the people have sovereignty, not the parliament. The judges will say, oh, the parliament's got sovereignty, and they decide when you have a trial by jury. It's as blatant as that. Somebody said something interesting to me recently uh, in regards to government, and I think it's particularly applicable at the current time during COVID-19 and the lockdowns and the social distancing and the wearing of masks and other restrictions. The comment that was made to me about government is, we don't do what they say, they do what we say. That's what it's supposed to be. Yes, that's yeah. your democracy. Yeah, and, and Thomas Jefferson said he wrote the Declaration of Independence, and it's all there in, in his words. Uh, and he is a great mind. One of his saying was that if people don't know how to govern themselves, then educate them. And we are being denied information, we're denied uh, knowledge of our rights, and even Julian Assange. He hasn't got a clue <laughs> well, how he's been shafted by his own lawyers because they refuse to issue a writ of habeas corpus. Habeas corpus comes from the same act that abolished the, the, the Star Chamber. And that Star Chamber starts off with a quote directly from Magna Carta that no free man shall be taken in, indeed in prison, exiled, outlawed, or dispossessed unless by the lawful judgment of his equals. They won't allow that. So as soon as you challenge the jurisdiction or put in a writ of habeas corpus, they're gone. But the, the lawyers will not allow it, the judges will not allow it, because they know that the rug is pulled from underneath them. And they want to stay in power. It's all about power. I think that magistrates and judges in Australia, I can't really comment on other parts of the world, but here they are paid very, very well. We're talking a starting salary of maybe 300,000 Australian dollars per year and that's not for a judge, that's only for a magistrate who may only be hearing small minor matters such as parking fines. Well, uh, everybody's worried about losing their pay. In fact, you talk to the police and you say, oh, we can't do that, we, we might lose our job. You talk to the sheriffs and, in fact, the sheriffs are very important. The sheriffs are supposed to be the guardians of the court. and But they'll say, oh, <laughs> uh, I've got to take my pay home every year. I can't say that, I can't do that. I said, what you're supposed to do under their own mission statement is that they must ensure that people can exercise their rights in court in safety. But as soon as you stand up and say, no, I want, I want my rights honoured, I want my uh, property rights, or my right to trial by jury, or my right of consent, no, they come down on you like a tonne of bricks. <laughs> they, they've been locking me up uh, frequently for the last I know 20 years now, including you know, jail terms in, in uh, Silver Water and Parramatta, you know, because they are trying to crush you. And uh, any whistleblower 
uh, or dissenter, they stamp on them very heavily.